Hello, St. Paul's. We continue in our look at Mark's gospel as we look at the good news about Jesus. The story that we have today in Mark 5 verses 21 to 43 has Jesus back on the Jewish side of the lake and there he was mobbed by all kinds of people who were looking to listen to him, to learn from him, to gain from him, to be healed by him. And one of the people that was there was a synagogue leader by the name of Jairus. Now, to this point in time, in Mark's gospel, we have not seen any of the religious authorities come to Jesus. But here we have a man whose daughter was on the brink of death. He had tried everything he could to make her well, and nothing had worked. And so he went to Jesus, and he fell on his knees in front of Jesus, and he pleaded with Jesus to come and heal his daughter. This was a religious leader who was begging Jesus, who was expressing his faith and trust that Jesus could help. And so Jesus agreed to go. On their way, people pressed in on every side. And in the midst of that, there was a woman, a woman who had suffered from bleeding for 12 years and no one had been able to help her. In fact, it looked as though the doctors had made it even worse. And she believed, she trusted that Jesus could help her. And she believed all she had to do was reach out and touch his robe and she would be healed. So as Jesus came nearer and nearer, she reached out and touched him and she was made well. But at the same time, Jesus stopped and said, who touched me? His disciples thought he had lost it because everybody was touching him. But he continued to look to the crowd and ask the question, and the woman knew that she had to present herself before Jesus, and she fell at his feet and confessed that it was her. And Jesus said that it was her faith, that he had healed her through her faith expressed in him. He corrected her that his healing was not a magic thing. It was his grace, and he sent her off in peace. The first peace she'd had in 12 years. At that point, Servants from Jairus' home came to say that his daughter had died. Jesus said, don't be afraid, just believe. And they went and Jesus raised his daughter and healed her and made her well. It's a story within a story. And both stories are about people with faith and people expressing that faith. Jairus, who was a male and a religious leader, had the highest of statures in society there. And he threw himself at Jesus' feet, begging Jesus to help. The woman, who was a woman, and she had bleeding, so she was considered ceremonially unclean. She was really close to the bottom of society. And she came humbly and quietly, not wanting even to disturb him, just to reach out and touch his robe. These two were very different people. And they both expressed their faith from their differences. But both of them ended up on their knees before Jesus. Both of them trusted Jesus, trusted that he could help. Both of them humbled themselves before Jesus. And both of them expressed their faith. And this is for us today. We are all different people. We have different backgrounds. Some of us were raised in different churches or different kinds of churches or no church at all. We come from different family experiences. We're at different stages in life. We have different job experiences, different family experiences. We're different in so many ways. And so our faith will resemble each of us because it is our faith in Jesus. But there are some similarities that, that truly must be there for our expression of faith. And that is that we have to trust Jesus. We have to trust that he loves us, trust that he cares for us, trust that he wants the very best for us, trust that he can change our lives. We need to be humble before the Lord, acknowledging him as Lord. He doesn't owe us anything. We need to trust him. We need to be humble. And we need to express our faith. Faith that is left unexpressed is not really faith. Faith is trust lived out. And if we don't live it out, it's not really faith. We need to trust Jesus. We need to be humble. And we need to express our faith to him and to those around us. We need to fall at Jesus' feet and worship him. Let's pray. 
Our God, we thank you for these stories. We thank you for expression of faith in different ways. We thank you for Jesus' grace in healing these people. And we pray, Lord, that you would help us to, to trust you in all ways. Help us to present ourselves always humbly before you and help us to express our faith, to express our trust in you through the lives we live and the words we say. Our God, all this we ask in Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you.